All right, all right, all right, all right. Comics Plus, what is going on? Akasan here. Uh, we're getting into Falcon and the Winter Soldier. <laughs> sorry. It's, sorry if I feel a, a little burnt out. It's terrible timing because I just about an hour ago, I got finished watching uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, his version of the movie of uh, how to uh, um, tell the story. So... I had to take a very, very long walk um, to kind of clear my brain and try to get ready for this one. Um, it looks like Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the New World Order, is 48 minutes. So that's that's pretty big, actually. I'm, uh, I'm surprised. Um, so I, I don't know much about this story. I think it takes place a few years after in-game, maybe a few months after in-game, possibly. Um, I really don't know much, but I am looking forward to it. I like the design that we're seeing. I got my shield over here. I should probably drink some water. Um, man, we're good, man. We are good. I just, I wish these two things kind of debuted on a different day or something. I mean, to be fair, I probably could have watched, uh, Snyder's thing when it first came out, but it would have been like freaking... 12 a.m. in the morning or it's, it's a four hour either way i think i would have been burnt so let's just go ahead and get into it man um i'm sure this story will be exactly what i need to sort of reset the field here it's it's time to get excited once again for another marvel story post wandavision Whew. let's do it all right full reaction of course is available on patreon make sure you check that out supporting the channel supporting the site we had a 200 almost 300 people in the stream yesterday uh or earlier today for the snyder thing which was really cool to hang out with all of you i think i will probably start doing that again with uh falcon and the winter soldier when that premieres so we don't have a problem um it's just that today is just not that day after a five hour stream a five hour stream full reaction available on patreon now and make sure you check it out uh, and uh your latest reaction to the season premiere of falcon and the winter soldier starts now <laughs> i need one of those bags actually i'm not even joking i really do need two of them like it's someone else's it's not it is joe biden Oh, <laughs> we got that Marvel feel. We certainly do. It's going to be very different from WandaVision. This has to be subtle. Subtle. Got it. Oh, that looks so cool, man. That looks so cool. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Is that a UFC fighter? He kind of looks like one. Whoa. Whoa, shit. Maybe I was right. Oh, wow. Whoa. Impressive. This is very impressive. You know, I really have never really acknowledged how much of a falcon he is, man. He is really just, this is awesome. You know, in some sense, this kind of reminds me of how much I fell in love with Batman Begins and wanted to do the paragliding like that. What's up? <laughs> oh, shit. Now you know. I just did. Hmm. Ah, I see. <laughs> I don't know if there's ever been a greater symbol. Wow. But it's more about the man wow. who crossed it up. And he 
he's gone. So today oh, is he we donating it? Legacy, but this belongs to you. Oh, wow. Oh, Steve would be so pissed, though. Motherfucker, you better put that in a replica. You, that better be a replica or something, because that, that's a terrible idea. Terrible idea. All that vibranium? Bro, are you crazy? He gave that to you. It's yours. Thanks again for coming forward with the shield, Sam. It was your right decision. No, it wasn't. Brother, man, you better talk to him. Take a walk. The fuck? For reals. They say you're going to make me ask. Mm-hmm. Talk to him. Talk to him, brother, man. Take up the mantle. I know you know this feels wrong, man. Shit, give it to Bucky, then. <laughs> Half hour before last call? I can't, guys. I have to prep for tomorrow's session. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Phew. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I damn nearly thought that was like discount Steve Rogers or something. Oh shit, what the hell? Oh my god. Wait, is that Bucky? Is this a flashback? Hail Hydra. What? <laughs> shit. I am no longer the Winter Soldier. I am James Bucky Barnes, and you're part of my efforts to make amends. <laughs> Didn't help with the nightmares. Well, like I said, I didn't have any. Look, one day you're going to have to open up and understand that some people really do want to help you and that they can be trusted. I trust you. Well, give me your phone. You don't have 10 phone numbers on this thing. No, I mean, you've been ignoring the texts from Sam. Okay. Look, you've got to nurture friendships. I am the only person you have called all week. That is so sad. <laughs> You're alone. You're wow. 100 years old. You have no history, <laughs> no family. Are you lashing out at me, Doc? Because that's really unprofessional. You know, I mean, when did that Good point. you start yelling at your clients? Oh, the notebook, and that's great. All right, give me a break. I'm trying, okay? This isn't... This is new for me. I didn't have a moment to deal with anything, you know? I had a little... Calm in Wakanda. Good and point. Other than that, I just went from one fight to another for 90 years. That's a good point. Can he go back to Wakanda? Now that you've stopped fighting... I want to go back. I want to go back with the niggas. <laughs> that is utter bullshit. Oh, really? You guys didn't order the usual, huh? Feeling like an adventure? Oh, get you some Bucky. You should ask Grouse. That's what I'm talking about. Stop the Asian hate. Our Bucky's coming to get you. He was working abroad. And it's he was killed. The police said. Oh. He played his long time, but. I will never know what really happened to him. Somehow it's Tony. Oh, why did I look like a Bubba Gump shit? What's good, Big Sam? Oh, what's going on, hey, man? Hey. Trying to live like you, bro. No. <laughs> 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 no, come on. Come That's come exactly on. what Vishon said. Trying to live like you, big bro. <laughs> Yo, Vishon would be perfect in here, man. Try the whole <laughs> a lot of weird pictures. Okay. <laughs> it really is, though. You mean tiger photos? Uh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? 
Whoa! Damn, you got your ass stomped, son. I mean, do I know you from somewhere? I don't know, do you? Do you? He's from Eight Mile, man. I knew it, Falcon. Yeah. Yes, yes. Stupid. Yeah. I didn't Stupid. Want to say anything. You know? Stark pay you when he was around? My condolences, by the way. Uh, thank you, but no, it doesn't really work like that. There's a tremendous amount of goodwill, and because of that, people are inclined to help. You mm. have no income over the last five years. How can you have income if you don't exist? Sarah. I like how they're really dealing with the repercussions of the blip. Decimation. Especially the economy itself. How that's changed so much. We need someone to inspire us again. It is with great honor that we announce here today that the United States of America has a new hero. Okay. Your new Captain America. Oh, God. Oh, shit. And they took the shield. And he, wait, he's got a gun too? Yeah, you kind of fucked up there, bro. Oh, God, those ears. Not bad. This is a pretty good premiere, man. Like, it set it up very well. Well, wow, really reminds me so much of Civil War and all the other Captain America movies. All right, y'all, there you have it. That is the premiere of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, man, you know, pacing means everything, honestly. It's so interesting to me. Like, we were having this discussion. I know, you know, the timing is kind of um, bad, I suppose. I don't know. It's, it is what it is. Um, but uh, especially because it's like, it's it feels like BVS versus Civil War again. Um, but uh, it's interesting pacing. It's just so interesting and so different when it comes to telling different types of stories. And even though I know this was a 45 minute uh, show, a little bit less than 45 minutes, it's so interesting how many things were just so set in motion and how many things were just kept, kept uh, building. It was like the perfect setup here because you, you, I feel like we got a good balance pretty much between what Sam and what Bucky are going through in their private lives. And more importantly, what I liked is that it was a lot of world building as well. I love the fact that Rhodey uh, guest starred for a bit. Um, I thought he was going to talk some sense into Sam, but you could see that Sam just did not want to be Captain America. He was he was reluctant, and more importantly, he just thought he could just put the shield away. But as you can see, the government wasn't about to do that, and in part, and particularly because there is a fluctuation of what's going on with the government what's going on with the nations as Rhodey already mentioned there's so much going on back and forth and nations were kind of apart from uh, tearing each other apart it's very interesting to see that there's just this ongoing and i guess that in some ways that's like the beautiful thing about how impactful infinity war really really was it's just crazy like that's Thanos, I remember there used to be this real ridiculous argument about how there's no point to the snap. Um, there's no point to Infinity War because everybody's going to be coming back. I remember that so much. That particular year in between Infinity War and Endgame was this idea. was like, why does everybody think this, game, this movie is so good? Um, they're, they're going to come back. But as you can see... This really, it's been, what, how many years now since Infinity War? Um, and in this timeline, you know, it's been uh, five or six years now. And there's so many effects you can see of what happened when everybody disappears. It's not something people get over after one movie, right? And then more importantly, what I thought was kind of brilliant about this is the fact that uh, how they're dealing with what happens when people come back for the most part all these people that disappeared were basically written off as dead that's it 
just dead, right? They're gone. And you can see where the income, they say you've made no income. You've had no sort of transactions or income for five years. It's like, yo, I've been gone for five years. And it's interesting to see how in Far From Home, they were able to really quickly figure that out with education. I'm talking about Spider-Man Far From Home. Okay, well, you know, you basically will still be in the same grade you were. So it didn't happen, right? But you can see on the financial side of things, there's other problems, right? I thought that was very interesting because I, I, like, I'm i thinking about this only because you don't really think about this stuff, but, you know, generally I do. Like, for example, uh, okay, so in the Snyder Cut, I'm just saying this because this was the most recent thing I just watched. In the Snyder Cut, there's something in terms of a bank, um, somebody's trying to balance somebody's bank account, okay? And, um... You know, it, the first thing I think about was, well, wait, you're trying to increase somebody's bank account. Where's the where where are you getting that money from? Like, there's got to be some sort of checks and balances to that so that nobody's going to be wondering what just happened. You know what I mean? So, I, I mean, it's, it's a very minor point, but it wasn't really covered at all. Whereas in this particular show, we're kind of seeing like those little details that people don't really think about they bring it up like okay what yeah how are you guys getting paid what's going on and i actually like the fact that they took the time to explain that that it a lot of the money just comes through goodwill some people were thinking that stark was bankrolling all of them right uh which was the case for some of them which was the case for some of them but not like the outside league situation and especially if your government uh if uh, like you know some of them don't even need have a need for money like thor right so it's it's interesting to see how particularly with falcon he wasn't really he's an avenger but he's not like one of the avengers so he wasn't getting bankrolled by stark he wasn't government sponsored he wasn't a shield agent right uh, it's very interesting how all of that kind of works um you think, actually, you think uh, Steve would have left some sort of cushion or something to help Sam out with or whatever, but that's a whole other story, I suppose. And uh, I do, again, I like how, I like what they're, they're dealing with both sides. I think what's really interesting about that is that you're seeing what Sam has to struggle with from the perspective, um, not only as a black man, but as someone who is still kind of just trying to get things coming together, uh, you know, with him disappearing. Um, with Bucky, interesting enough, it didn't really look like they went deep into this point, but I kind of saw how they made a little bit of a hint where it's like, look, he said when I was in Wakanda, that was like the most peaceful time I've had. Um, you know, the only other time that was, might've been somewhat peaceful for him was when he like, he got snapped away, right? Like it was just nothing. He was just, there was a void of nothing. So I guess there was nothing for him to remember or whatever, him being in the Soul Stone. But, you know, for all technicalities, he was dead, basically. So it's interesting how all of this kind of went, uh, um, was brought up in the back of your mind, but they also bring it forefront as well. Um, and I also like this whole idea of that there's this entirely different group of people that believe that life was better when half the planet was gone <laughs> like what um but it's interesting that there's all these sort of like actions and reactions to all of this so anyways i'm really looking forward to seeing what's happening with the next episode guys make sure you check out the full reaction that is available on patreon now immediately as soon as we finish i will try to do some live streams in the future because now with daylight savings times it, it comes on a little bit earlier for me so that's good it's just that today after the snyder cut i was wait i was just burnt out after six hours of streaming and i need to take a walk and de stress a bit before we got into this so anyways see you guys next week um probably with a live stream on twitch make sure you follow me at aka underscore plays aka san underscore plays if you missed that you can check out the full reaction on patreon at akasun and of course stay tuned for the youtube edits i will talk to you on the next one guys take care peace